research and innovation does not happen in isolation, it doesn't happen in computers, it happens in the people with the ideas and knowledge, energy and creativity that they provide in the sector. Globally, every year, 1.25 million people die on the roads due to road accidents. And it's said that 90% of these accidents are due to driver error. So if you could assist the driver or potentially remove the driver, there's a way to reduce this fatality number, which would be a huge societal benefit. Single disciplines can work very well at solving grand challenges, but actually it's that knowledge in the interdisciplines that will be really valuable. Safety is also the biggest challenge in realizing autonomous vehicles. One of the things that I would like to achieve through my fellowship is how do we argue for safety of an AI-based system? Second focus area for me is around the 11 billion mile challenge problem that we've had. And the third theme that I have is how much of each type of testing is required to create a safety argument to give us confidence that the CAV is a safe system. The vision here is to be able to pull data from every vehicle. There's the validation, which is between real world and virtual, the identification of the scenarios, which is fundamental to us being able to build the confidence, and then the real world data, which supports that validation. As a regulator, we're always trying to strike a balance between ensuring kind of consistent minimum standards, but also ensuring that we don't stifle any innovation. These are some of the vehicles that we, uh, that we build. The one on the right hand side there is a 12 seater shuttle bus. We run simulations, generate the simulation scenario in an automated way. You've got to have the right culture, process, training and awareness. You've got to get good requirements. Without good requirements, you're lost. And the evidence is what you use to make the argument that you believe it's safe. This is really a life-changing opportunity for him. He has the full support of WMG and the University of Warwick. I would not be half the person I am without WMG and the support they have extended to me over the last five, six years. So thank you for everything.